The reason why I played this deck because I was playing Lee Sin on ladder and I kept getting countered by this deck. Okay, if we level up our Sejuani immediately in this plaza matchup, we will be in a good spot. I think I want to get the, my cards that will activate Sejuani. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna mulligan away everything. Nice, we get Ballistic Bot. Uh, keeping Puff Cap Peddler can sometimes be a trap. Because yes, it can generate you Puff Caps early, but if you don't have a turn 2, drop you could lose a uh, tempo and ballistic what is much better well, it's a shame that we can't attack now but we will be able to get the first sejuani proc with this ignition there's a consideration to puff cap peddler but he still has three mana if he attacks here do i even block i use the first ignition so that my ballistic bots attack becomes two so it can present a threat to this Solari Shield Bearer. I can use Troll Chant now. Or I can just take the damage. I think it, it might be safer to... I think I can afford to take this damage for now. Yeah, I can afford to take that damage. Oh shit. That's a problem. That is a problem. I actually have to kill that. But he has lots of ways to protect it. I think it's bugged, right? That thermogenic beam still deals 3 damage. If he has another stony suppressor, then we're in a bad spot. Yeah, it's bugged. Uh, thermogenic beam still deals 3 damage. Bug abuse. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I'm not proud of that. But whatever. I have double troll chant now. Devotion through battle. Devotion through battle. <laughs> By doing that, we won't be able to shuffle puff caps this turn. But I think it's fine. A weird double pale cascade? Or a hush in the pale cascade? Doesn't go for anything, which means it has safe Sejuani proc. This Balik, the addition of ballistic bots. Sure. Oh, that's worth. Um, that's one hush down, so he won't be able to hush my Ezreal anymore, or he won't be able to hush my Sejuani later on. Now it's time to start. Now it's time to start shuffling puff caps. We need our Sejuani soon though. Need our Sejuani soon. Um, he gets troll chant? He gets troll chant, ballistic boat, or thermo beam. We have the 4 4 peddler. We have the Sejuani proc. Nice. We have the Sejuani online. I don't care about this. We're gonna start the onslaught. So he used with the first Solari Priestess he already used the Meteor Comet spell and he has a second priestess. I'm not yet sure what that is. Could be another comet. But if if we bait out the comet with the Puff Cup Peddler, that's more than fine for us. I mean, for now, we're fine like this, right? We don't have to put out the Sejuani yet. If 
we can bait out another comet, that's super fine for us. Or if we can bait out an obliterate, even better. Nice, we ha he used another meteor shower. So most likely he doesn't have any removal against my Sejuani now, right? I have Harsh Winds next turn. Burning 3 mana. <laughs> we have our two finishers online. We have not targeted enough yet. What could he have? What could he have to kill my Sejuani? He might have a Concerted Strike. No, but if he has Concerted Strike, he doesn't have enough units. That have a high enough attack. And if he commits a lot of spells in order to kill my Sejuani, I think I'm fine. Because I have my second finisher. I have my Ezreal online already. So he doesn't have lots of buff caps yet. But we have the Mushroom Clouds and the Ignition. And we haven't drawn our Foundry yet. We should be looking for that one. If he summons a unit, I will use Ignition. If he passes, I will pass back. He could hush his own Solari. And then try to use Concerted Strike on Sejuani. But I have Mystic Shot back up. He does that, I just Mystic Shot the Nexus and then his HP. I mean his... Uh, the attack of his units go back down to zero. That would be a sad play if he resorts to that. Hushing his own Solari. And then using Concerted Strike. We already baited out the two spells from Solari Priestess. Okay. This looks like he's going for it. Yep. Wow, that's a sad life. I predicted it. I predicted it, guys. It's not gonna happen. I reserved two mana for that for that scenario specifically. There's still a chance he won't draw a puff cap here. Never mind. Born for conquest. Uh, I don't want to play into a Leona. I just rather attack now. If he does anything else, I have my harsh winds as backup. If he somehow hushes the Solari Sunforger into a judgment, that would be another sad play for him. Okay, so he hushes there. He needs to block, right? He needs to block with everything. What? Six buff caps in one draw? What the fuck? I mean, do I even do I even need the ballistic bot? I don't even know if I need the ballistic bot for uh, further. Yeah, I don't need it. Oh, we, we already won with with ignition. Cool. Cool, cool. We are favored in this matchup, especially if we get the Sejuani level up or if we get the early foundry. I'm gonna keep Thermogenic Beam because it could be a turn one Zoe. And I'm gonna mulligan away everything else. Nice, we get the Ballistic Bot, our Sejuani Activator. Turn 1 Zoe dies to a turn 1 Thermo Beam. But generally, you should always go for the Zoe. Because if your opponent doesn't have Thermo Beam, it's a free attack. But in this case, unfortunately for my opponent, I have it. If he does not have a 2 drop, we get a proc with the Ballistic Bot. Oh. I think Ballistic Bot is more important. As much as I'd like to play Teemo, Ballistic Bot allows us to give Sejuani procs potentially this turn and next turn. Okay. Teemo is not a key card in this deck. Teemo is more of a Zoe blocker more than anything. Perfectly fine blocking this one. 
So I'm gonna get my first first ignition off. There's even a consideration to use veteran investigator instead of Timo. Yeah, Timo is now shit here because he has sparkle fly. If we can drop down his mana, we can mystic shot the sparkle fly and possibly go for a Timo. I can just chill pass. I already got what I need for this turn. No need to do anything. Iterative improvement could be casted on the Sparklefly, but that might not be worth it. We have our Zoe blocker. We have double troll chant. I will use the troll chant here. Let's try to check if he will respond with the combat trick. If we do this, he doesn't have any good blockers next turn. He has to block with the Sparklefly or the Zoe. And mostly I'm trying to bait out spells. I want him to use his mana. I will use Mystic Shot on one of these if everything goes well. Okay. Cool. I have no worries right now. I just want my Sejuani proc. I have another troll chant to counteract for combat. And now I can chip him better. The mystic shot here will be pretty hard to use. We need the Sejuani soon. Sooner rather than later. I may want to save mana for a uh, Troll chant, and another troll chant, and an elixir of iron if I want to win the next combat. Oh, if he's going to pass, I am willing to have him burn that mana. Nice, nice, we got it. We got him. I think we got him. He might have just won. I mean, I'm willing to trade here. Trade you, trade you, trade you. Yeah. Okay. See what he does. Hush there. Does that even matter? I don't even think that matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I think. Okay, maybe it does matter a bit. I can commit an elixir of iron. He used my hush on the he used his hush on the Timo now. Elixir of iron is expendable. I have another troll chant. I have a flash freeze. Oh god. Okay, what spells did I cast? I have Troll Chant, I have Ballistic Bot, did I cast Mystic Shot yet? I have Iterative Improvement, Thermo Beam. Okay, we should watch out for the Thermo Beam, our Sejuani could get Thermo. So that's the Scare card, never mind he got Troll Chant. I guess we're fine with that. Pretty happy with how this went. He's out of the lifesteal card now. I have my Sejuani. He can stun my Sejuani, of course. I will kill the Zoe. I think there's no way that the Zoe levels up next turn, right? Yeah, this is straightforward. Sejuani, kill the Zoe. We don't have the puff cap, ge puff cap generators yet, so we don't have the instant freeze on Lee Sin, but we have a double fresh freeze. And he used two hush already, I think? So our Timo might be relatively safe. He stuns so early! Why does he stun so early? I can still kill the Zoe with my ballistic bot or something. That's such an early stun. I'll attack with my Timo first, and then with you. I have Troll Chant plus Flash Freeze as backup. Just going for the defense. Cool. With 
So far, so good. He has to summon the Lisa next turn, and then I can respond with an ignition to freeze him. Nice. He's just looking now, but I have double ignition. It's going to be hard for him. I have double ignition. I have flash freeze for the Lee Sin. I want my foundry now. He said. Okay. He won't be able to kill my Sejuani. Won't be able to kill my Sejuani. Now he has to commit some spells in order to get the license attack up. He needs to cast one spell. But I still have Flash Freeze. I still have Troll Chant. This doesn't do anything. He should drag my Teemo maybe? He drags the Sejuani? That doesn't do anything though. Just puts my Sejuani back. I can just summon it again. I can just summon it again. Ah, oh, shit. We will start the puff cap domination now. I want to reserve some spells. He needs to cast two spells if he wants to save the Lee Sin. Okay, first spell. Boom! <laughs> oh my god. The ultimate Lee Sin counter. I can troll chant. You need to cast more than that if you want to kill the Ballistic Bot. But the Ballistic Bot honestly doesn't matter at this point in the game. Okay. Going all in. Uh, the ballistic ball doesn't matter, right? Yep. I'd rather try to shuffle more puff cups. Shuffle mushrooms. Shuffle mushrooms. Chip as at his nexus. Still have flash freeze. I'd rather save the troll chant for the Lee Sin. Because high chance Lee Sin will be down to zero attack, right? And then he can raise it up. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Nice! Lucky for him! Lucky, lucky, lucky. Sejuani bounces back. Cool. Pain is nothing. Bouncing back my Sejuani, giving me challengers every round, seems good. I fight with my spirit. I still have Flash Freeze, I have Brittle Steel, I have everything I need. Yeah, there's no way we will lose this one. Zero chance.
the reason why I played this deck because I was playing Lee Sin on ladder and I kept getting countered by this deck. Never underestimate the power of the scouts code. <laughs> Two and zero. Oh no, it's a mirror match. It's a mirror match. So many so many people are using this deck now. <laughs> the mirror matchup is super 50-50. Eek. Eek. I think Ezreal Draven is a counter for us. Uh, I don't really want to keep any of these. I could consider keeping the Buff Cup Peddler. That's a lot better. But he can destroy my landmark. I guess this is a straightforward veteran investigator. He has a lot of cheap units, so we don't really... He has a lot of cheap units, so Hexcore Foundry doesn't really lock him down too much. I think I, I'll keep this alive. 3 damage is a lot. I think it's worth it to do that. Because it's tempo, so we now have a defender for his Draven. Ezreal. We can afford to Veteran here, I guess. Doesn't matter, he doesn't have the Mystic Shot. We can happily go for an open attack next round. Nice, we have the Peddler. Yeah. Do I go for the double Mystic Shot? Probably not, right? I'll go for the Peddler Magic. I have a Brittle Steel for the Ezreal. I have Flash Freeze. I hope he goes for the Ezreal attack. Just to get countered. Raven. I have all the counters in the world. If I use this. See what he does. If I freeze the Ezreal, he's just going to give it Spinning Axe. So I wanted to see if he... We'll use Spinning Axe first. If we can bait out the Spinning Axe first, we can go ahead and Flash Freeze or even Double Mystic Shot the Ezreal. But I also want to save the Double Mystic Shot for the face. Because he doesn't have healing at all. Okay. You don't need to freeze the Ezreal anymore. Because he won't get the Mystic Shot off anyway. Now we can go ahead and use x Square Foundry. This Peddler will die unless we draw a Protection Spell. And I think using the Foundry is the best shot at drawing a Protection Spell. The Ezreal could level up right now. Static Shock? Should I expect a Static Shock? If we do this, he can't Static Shock anymore. But this peddler will die. He might Arachnoid Sentry, the Sejuani. Yeah, he can save the Ezreal here. He can even Thermo Beam the Sejuani, but if he uses the Thermo Beam on Sejuani, I can kill the Ezreal. Okay, her Venus Flock there. Totally acceptable. Down to 9 HP, we have double Mystic Shot. Yeah, he, he needs to do that. He damages my Sejuani a bit, which could matter if he has Scorched Earth. The stick bot is okay. Nice. It's cool. Totally fine. I have a total of 7 mana if I want to kill that one. Ezreal is not doing too much yet. We don't need to summon it. What could kill the Ezreal? Do I mind him getting another rock? 
I think I don't mind if the ballistic bot gets another proc. It's look it looks like the Israel will get a free attack here. Nice. Can just do this. Cool, cool. I want to use my thermo beam this round, probably. Another peddler. Remember, his deck doesn't have healing. They grow up so fast. Okay. No way. If we can get a free attack in here, it's going to be awesome. We pass. The Faron? We have a freeze for the Faron. I'm not too worried. Out of my way. Totally fine. I actually think that I need to shuffle puff caps now. The more puff caps we shuffle now, the more likely he will die already. Because he's drawing two units per two. He is drawing. By the way, I don't I don't know why I didn't defend there with the captain fire. Against the captain fire. Oh I think he's dead. He, he might be dead. We have a total of 10 mana. And in our hand, we have a total of 10. So we have mana to play everything. We can keep baiting here. We just wrecked an Ezreal Draven deck. Yeah, I won't attack with that. Don't worry, bro. No worries. I have double miss. I have exact lethal. I have exact lethal. Can you improve perfection? It doesn't matter. You're out of stuns. I have 17 HP. What else do you have? You need a Mystic Shot to stop my Teemo. And my two Mystic Shots. Okay, GG. GG. He doesn't even know I have two mystic shots. You're clinging on to the hope that you won't die. But you will die. I have two mystic shots, friend. But of course you don't know that. Yeah, I'd rather you die by puff caps. Victory was the mushrooms he planted along the way. <laughs>